I don't know how long I could carry that I'm not actually playing. Hello, the internet. Hey. We are live. There was a stealth British man in that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he snuck in. Like a, like, a, like a criminal that a detective would need to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Solve. Yeah, you solve criminals. Yeah, you, you solve them, and then... Um, uh, one of my favorite RPS jokes in a long while was when um, Quentin Smith was back writing for them and they just kept releasing, or rather Warner kept releasing these CGI trailers for Arkham City. <laughs> and um, Quinn's said, until you start um, until you start giving us real trailers, I'm not going to write you real news posts. So he'd write these really stupid news posts about how um, Batman would love to say boo to criminals all over <laughs> Gotham City. <laughs> And I kind of think that that's what the world's greatest detective should be doing. Mm -hmm. um, Fam says, Jack, what's it like streaming while on the lam? Right. <laughs> Wait. You may... <laughs> oh, I, I, I may have murdered a couple of people in the sleuth stream last night. Oh, Jack. Well, I need to set the record straight. <laughs> <laughs> I need to set the record straight that I'm not a murderer, or rather, I'm not just a murderer, I'm also a detective. <laughs> um, I, I, I can and frequently do 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 both so right. uh, there's just, room for both there is absolutely room for both um, as, as, as we've seen in lots of American dramas frequently. I would say that yeah one feeds into the other it absolutely does um, and not often in the way that we have to be a detective look well we're writing you a manual it's called how to be a detective also, something that I think is important is that the game we are playing is not Noir, a shadowy thriller. It is in fact Noir Syndrome. Um, hey Janine. Um, a procedurally generated detective game that neither of us really know how to play. So, yeah. So we're about to, about to find out. Mm -hmm. My name is Jack DeKeat. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at NotQuiteReal. And I am the John Watson to the veritable Sherlock Holmes that is my my guest today. Who who are you? My goodness. I am Alicia Akampora. Uh you can find me at Ali underscore Wes on Twitter or frequently here on Stream Friends. Uh and what hat are you wearing today, Ali? <laughs> um, I'm wearing the classic Sherlock hat with like the big floppy brim mm -hmm. and it's like a very nice like kind of quilt fabric I'm that's a little stem on top that's <laughs> a little stem oh like a little yes like a little you may be getting it confused with like the world war one german helmets you know <laughs> <laughs> that you see the kaiser wearing in portraits or something Again, um, like I said, there's room for both. There is room for both. <laughs> worst comes to the worst, you can take your hat off and stab someone with it. Mm -hmm. I'm That's going fair. for the traditional British um, bowler hat that you can throw at somebody to decapitate them, like like in James Bond. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see, I see. I <laughs> you came prepared I, I, to be a murderer, right? Because I, I was thinking just detective today. A little of column A, a little of column A, a little of column B. Um, Janine says, Ali is lying. She's wearing a pastel snapback with the word Mahu on it. <laughs> I'm wearing that underneath my detective hat. There's room for both. That's the <laughs> message of this stream. So there's the stat bag that I always wear. And then there's the helmet with the pointy thing. And then I have my detective hat on. It's your, all together. Your detective hat, yeah. So, quarter note says you are the worst odd job. Um, d uh, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> I will murder you. Right. Don't and then solve the crime. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is Noir Syndrome. As much as I hate to get rid of... Uh, of that fantastic picture of, of um, Buster Keaton reading the book that we're about to write. Now, if you don't mind, Ali, would you mind if we go through the tutorial together? Because you're oh, a much better detective than I am. Of course. And I have already done the tutorial, and it wasn't tremendously helpful, so we'll see. Okay. 
Here we go. Tutorial. Just, oh, that's, I'm trying to operate the OBS screen here. <laughs> uh, I'll just minimize OBS so I don't see the thing going. All right, here we go. Tutorial. So, <laughs> all, all detective stories begin in a featureless void. Mm -hmm. I can move left and right. I like good detective stories. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I can move left and right, as one might okay. traditionally. Um, I can interact and investigate with the Z button. A mysterious killer has recently appeared. Your job as detective is to capture him. Makes sense. Oh, I found a lockpick. Oh. Um, look for dots above locations on the map to find events and track the culprit. Okay, I can also shoot using the X button, like that. Converse with NPCs to get leads on possible suspects. That's really step one in the, um, in the detective's manual. Oh my god, I love the little hat adjust. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a, there's a lady detective as well that I think I'm gonna switch to. Um, and you can unlock costumes and everything for everybody. Um, it's pretty great, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, uh, you can you can use locks to open doors. Um, bullets rarely miss. One will drop almost anyone. Weigh the risks of each situation. You can buy stuff from people. Vendors sell food and other useful items because you get hungry. Uh, check your hunger level in the notebook. Okay, that's um, well, yeah. Uh, I usually when can... I'm hungry, I have to check like my journal to see to see exactly why you're hungry. Right. Right. Yes. To see what I wrote down when I'd be hungry next. Talking of the journal, we can check it with C. You can see here that we have no clues, as all yeah. good detectives should at the beginning of a case. Well, this is true. We don't want to come in with any presumptions. No, otherwise you're biased. And something that's very important with detectives is that you're not biased. I'm um, typically very biased, so this might be a problem In, in life, or as a detective? In life. Well, both. Yes. <laughs> because I'm a detective in my life. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, no suspects. Um, also good. We got no cash. We got one bullet. We got no lockpicks. We got 15 days left, uh, and we feel normal. So basically, oh, I'll tell you this in a second. <laughs> here we have more detail about the clues, and you can see here we just we are just really confused. <laughs> I like the way we've pre-written in all the spaces for the clues. <laughs> this is our clues page. This is our suspects page, and what their hobby is. I'm assuming okay. one of their hobbies is murderer. Um, I can't believe all the time we've wasted doing this, and all the time we're gonna waste erasing those question marks later. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I saw him at the bus depot. Oh, the bus depot! <laughs> Hand me the eraser! <laughs> oh, God, I, I tore it! I really hope we never have to write down like a license plate as a car is speeding away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Taxi, take me to the stationery store. <laughs> no, wait, the mafia mob house, and then the stationery store. Wait, what kind of erasers do you think that we have? But I think we have one I'm on the end of our pencil, maybe. <laughs> I, no, I'm imagining like a really nice, like, little plastic box filled of like fruit shaped erasers. <laughs> but does that mean we need to sit down and get <laughs> go into our bag and get the <laughs> and then like decide which fruit like oh you know I want to keep the grapes intact because this is my favorite one. <laughs> Ali, is it just me or does the just the grape one actually smell like grapes? Hey, hey, I smell it. Oh yeah. It does. <laughs> Meanwhile, over on the other side of the town, just stab, stab. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. It smells like grapes. <laughs> oh, it's great. Okay, so we have a current challenge. Our current challenge is win 50 snakes in dice. I mean, that I, I guess that's supposed to be the dollar symbol, but it really doesn't look like it. No, that's a snake. Absolutely. Hey, Nina. Nina's in the chat. Oh, hey, Nina. Um, so basically, I, I'm not really sure what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, snakes. No, no, challenges. Oh, okay. Well, they're chivas. We use snakes to buy food and stuff. No, do the chivas are badges, I think. Oh no, maybe, yeah. maybe that's the challenge. I don't know. Um, scrap find, you get 20 scraps and you get a new outfit, I think. Okay. Cash find, seems pretty obvious, I think that's snakes. Um, this lets us pick a culprit out of civilians, police, and mobsters. 
Okay. Uh, the only other thing... To... Okay, I think that that's... Oops. The game's mostly controlled with the... With the, um, keyboard, except on the journal screen. So, like, I'm just multitasking all the time like a detective. Um, pick a culprit in your notebook and track them down before the murders continue. And that's literally all we get. Okay. So now we go into the game. Um, we oh. can investigate a place on the map once a day, because we just take forever <laughs> to do <laughs> We just take, just take forever. That seems like... That seems like too much time. What, to solve a murder, or to visit a place? To visit a place. Right, I could easily fit in three places a day. Easy, yeah. easy peasy, easily. and do a murder. You know, easily. Easily peasily. Like, so... <laughs> So basically we can go to 14 places, and the places are pretty varied. You've got an old city fort, the nightclub, the drugstore, home, the police station, the costume shop, the church, the mechanics shop, the department store, the city hall, the bank, the sewers, the city hotel, the market, the diner, the speakeasy, the slums, the subway, the old watchtower, Ooh. a nondescript warehouse, and the killer's hideout. Man, murders would happen at all of these places. How are we gonna have this down? Well, I think the murders already happened. Oh, oh, okay. But more murders are going to happen. We're not, uh, we are not Minority Report here, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this city murder's bound to happen. I'm gonna find it, and then I'm. G I, I assume I'm going to capture a person. <laughs> but we're investigating this crime that we do not. So the murders happen, but we don't have any information about this murder? No. Not even, like, that it happened? <laughs> uh, Nina says it tells you where they happened. Yeah, more murders are going to happen. So, oh my goodness. It's scary. It's terrifying. So, yeah, this... So basically we have 40 days. So we have to go around, we have to talk to people. Uh, we have to, like, get information, find clues. That's, this is where I start to get a little lost. Where do you want to go to first, Sherlock? Ah, uh, the speakeasy? Good it's, plan. Yeah, I think we Where you know, is the speakeasy? It was to the left. I think it's that red building to the left. That's the nightclub. The, oh, to the, the right. right. <laughs> Great. A den of illegal activity controlled by the mob. So there are basically three factions. The civilians, the police, and the mob. Oh. That's, I think that's what we need to know. Right, so here we are. Okay. Let's go around. Let's go around. Typical bar tables. This person wants to sell me a cannoli for five snakes. Oh, I um, love cannolis. I love cannolis too. Um, <laughs> How many snakes do we have? Uh, we have none. <gasps> oh, <gasps> it's a crime. <gasps> what? <laughs> okay, so, so this lady. <laughs> this lady here says. Barbara White says, Suspects? Have you spoke to Dorothy Scott yet? I always thought Dorothy Scott was a shady character. Even the criminals seem to be afraid of this killer. Anubis? Anubis is the name of the serial killer. Anubis, the Egyptian god of death. Ominous. So if we look in our notebook, we can see Dorothy Scott is now a suspect. No. Oh. And we know that she's a dancer. Okay. We can also just straight up go like, It's you! <laughs> and go and find her. Um, but I think that that's probably a bit... No, that's a good call. We should just do that. <laughs> I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this <laughs> wild accusation. Oh, well, Doris Wright says, I would keep my eye on John Smith if I were you. This person wants to sell me a bullet for five snakes, one of a kind. So the, like, combat thing in this game was sort of the thing that I was initially like, maybe I shouldn't buy this? Oh no, the combat is literally just point towards somebody and press a button. Okay, but like... So I was checking out on Steam and I was like, oh, this looks kind of cute and like it would be fun. And then like a third of the trailer is dedicated to showing that you can shoot people. Weird. And as someone with increasingly less interest in shooting people in games, but not I was really. like, N yeah. <laughs> I like all gamers. Well, no, that's a, a bad joke. I'm not gonna finish it because it's gross. <laughs> um, 
as are all gamers. Um, um but yeah, so I was like, eh, maybe um, I shouldn't buy it. No, shooting is shooting is not uh, a big part of it. So if we check our notebook now, we can see we've got a whole bunch of suspects. We've got Dorothy Scott, who's a dancer. John Smith, who's a poet. Always the murdery type. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Robinson is the tailor. A tailor. And William Miller is a chef. We could also steal from the mob, but then everybody would start shooting us, and we don't actually have very many bullets. So, okay, yeah. So we're basically done here. Okay. Unless I'm missing something. What well, can you like investigate stuff? I have been. I've been going. Oh, I found a gun oh. holster. Oh, uh, see. I was hiding behind the door. Yeah. Um, so it just says. So it says here, gun holster owned by police or mobster. Mm. We don't have police or mobsters in our thing yet. But the okay. clues seem to sometimes contradict each other. Also, probably a lot of- like, we probably own a gun holster. Ali, are you suggesting that we're not the murderer because there's a very <laughs> real possibility? <laughs> I don't think we can actually be the murderer in this game, but um... Well, I'm just saying that's not Ooh. a great clue. I'm getting a bit oh. hungry. Maybe oh, I yeah. ought to buy a canale. I have no money. Oh, <laughs> Well, I guess this is the end of the day. Barbara White has been murdered. <gasps> Isn't she in our suspect? No. Barbara White was the one who told us about um, that first lady, right? Barbara White, no. Maybe. I don't know. What's happening here? There's a public gathering is here. And there's a cr crime scene here. I guess there's a crime scene at the warehouse. Shall we go and... Check yeah. The warehouse? That seems like a good call. Maybe because there's been a crim? <laughs> <laughs> we got to stop the crims. <laughs> okay, actually, I should go check these boxes. Are they in these yeah. boxes? I suppose this is to be expected of a warehouse. Yeah, Jesus Christ, mate. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Some detective you are. Oh, I found uh, $12. Oh, let's go get a canal. Oh, well, it would take us an entire day to get a canal. This is like the mob, mob, mob hideout, right? So down here there's a load of guns. Oh. An assortment of illegal weaponry. And then I can put $15 for a pack of three bullets, $12 for snakes for a single lockpick, and 75 snakes for information on the killer. This place is fucking useless. Wait, okay. they're just, like, those are like glory holes of... Of... <laughs> of glory <glitter>. um, <laughs> Ali, are you describing the shops? <laughs> I think you're describing shops as glory holes of goods here. Then you put your money in, and they give you something. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I can use my keyboard now. That's good. Oh, uh, we can't buy a lockpick, Nina. We don't. We don't have enough. I don't think. Anyway, there's supposed to be a crime scene here, and all we found was right. a lockpick and some glory holes. <laughs> we didn't even find a lockpick. We just found money. Oh, no. oh, so now somebody else is about to be murdered. Well, can we check? Like, should we? Like should we maybe go and see somebody? Should we go and see one of these people? Can we without losing another day? No, we'll lose a day. It's okay. just it's just what we want to do. Oh, Nina says a lot because twelve dollars. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are a bit Back hungry though. We are a bit hungry though, actually. So I'm gonna save it. Mm. I'm gonna save it to get to get food. All right, who's getting murdered? Mm. Oh, nobody. Oh, okay. So there's been a police takeover here. A police zone here in the diner. Um, so, do we want to see... Who do we want to see? We should see Dorothy? Okay, what, well, just go down the list? Yeah. Well, no, I want to see Dorothy because the woman who told us about Dorothy was murdered. And that's very suspicious. Oh, are you sure that was her? I am, like, 85% positive. And in detective Good terms, detective. that's Good like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
That is a really good detective percentage. <laughs> right, so where do dancers live? Dancers <laughs> live in nightclubs. Mm-hmm. Or costume shops, depending on the type of or dancer. Or costume shops. They don't live in sewers, or diners, or markets, or slums. Well, everyone should or... live in a diner, but... Yeah. E- absolutely, everybody should. <laughs> Um. Hmm. So I guess nightclub. Yeah. Okay. Right. So what's her name? Dorothy Scott. I bet she's not gonna be here. Oh. Let's see. That's Donald Moore. He says I keep my eyes on William Miller. William Miller's already on our list. Oh. And this hotel. The hotel apparently sounds fishy. This person sells me a bottle of spirits. I think I'll pass. Charles Moore is just a little too shocked to think right now. That makes sense. I'm with Charles. Uh, here's a lockpick door that I'm gonna go through. I need a lockpick. Now, if only someone had... (laughs) (laughs) Suggested that we had done that. Oh no! What should we do? Uh, Like, do we have any tools that we can use aside from just our eyes? I don't think that we do. <laughs> okay. So there's fingerprinting or even looking behind things. <laughs> <laughs> are those the are those the um the things you those... can do <laughs> as a detective? As a detective. Fingerprinting. Are... <laughs> the two things. How to be a detective? by Jack Keat and Ali Akampura. Step one. Ali? Fingerprints. That's your chapter. <laughs> My chapter is looking behind things. <laughs> well, I just feel like we went to that warehouse and we didn't find anything. But there mm. were all those boxes. No, I don't think we can. I there genuinely was... don't believe okay. we can. I am looking behind all these things, though. <laughs> Like those curtains probably have. I'm hungry, but I. Secret things. Now I'm, I'm mashing the look behind things. <laughs> well, it's a priority. In the detective's toolbox. <laughs> it's one of its 50 percent. <laughs> Wait, did we never go downstairs? At that we couldn't club, because there was the a way. lockpick. We, we oh. needed to get behind the door. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Wait, Alice but the Hall. door was to, like, a liquor cabinet, not to the downstairs? No, the door was to the downstairs. Okay, okay. Um, so now Alice Hall's been murdered. Apparently the hotel's a bit fishy, so we might be able to go, might ought to go and check that out? Yeah, that sounds like a good call. Okay, so. Ooh, this place is fancy. Oh. Grand Budapest. That means that <laughs> I'm looking behind all these poles here. <laughs> Oh, we're so hungry. I found 20, 20 bucks. Ooh. 20 snakes. Oh, Barbara White is definitely the one you need to look out for. Um, Barbara White is... another tailor. Oh. Tailors. Yeah, I mean, they have access to scissors. To murder Famous murder weapons. weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're on to something. Everybody gets really angry if they hem something wrong. This is true. Um, you know? Um, I'm gonna make a prediction right now. Uh, <laughs> here's my prediction. We're not going to solve this case. Jack! It's only day, like, three. Oh, we got a new suspect. You can't, you can't think like that as a detective. That's rule three. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter three. <laughs> um... Uh, Nina says, if the evidence says it's a cop or mobster, then it's definitely a cop or mobster. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't, we've, we don't have we've any only found, Yeah, we've only found a gun holster. And I assume everyone in town owns a gun holster. Apparently the church sounds fishy. We, we're in a fishy hotel. Multiple places can be fishy. <laughs> Multiple places can frequently be fishy. <laughs> I wish there was, like, a fishy just meter. Yeah. Oh, I'm just ty- I'm just chasing behind you. <laughs> I don't think behind you. Right where you should be. Yeah, exactly. This is fine detective work. Oh, 
Nina says that's evidence enough. Oh. Police are wanted. Yeah. So it's so basically, if we if we if we find a person who's a policeman or a mobster, we just arrest on on site. We just arrest them on site. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. No question about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Barbara White's being crossed out because I guess she's dead. Nina says it's weird. Don't try and play it with actual detective stuff. Play it as a logic slash elimination puzzle. Wait. So, but. The fact that it's guaranteed to be a police or mobster, am I missing something? Or is that not logic? That's just... That's just, um... Some weird gameplay quirk. Also, Nina says, no, don't do that. Oh my god, what were you talking about just arresting the guy? We were joking. <laughs> we were joking. <laughs> um... Uh, but now we might do so, that. Yeah, so, yeah, we might. You never know. We're, we are mavericks, but we don't get the job done. We're like maverick mavericks. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Nina, am I missing something? Or is the fact that if it's a policeman or a mobster, it's guaranteed to be a policeman or a mobster just weird? Because in previous games, I found evidence, the next piece of evidence might say something like... Might say something like, oh, um, this is used by uh, Taylor. Um, Nina says it's harder to see it in this run-through because you've only found one clue, and that clue was pretty revealing immediately. Normally it narrows down the suspect list a bit more gradually. Oh, so the fact that it was a gun holster is maybe the important, the important bit. Alright, let's go to the police station. Um, so, like, in the introduction of this game, does it give you, like, a rundown of the basic oh, crime? I, uh -oh. Oops. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Wait. What happened there? Oops. <laughs> what happened Oops. there? I may have meant to press Z to to to, to look behind a pillar, <laughs> but I accidentally pressed X. You gotta read the book again, Jack. Which means that chapter one. <laughs> well, no, that's. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't mentioned. <laughs> Wait, okay, actually it's chapter two. Yeah, it is and chapter two. I guess we have to add <laughs> something to that chapter that says, as you're looking behind things, don't Make accidentally sure. pull your gun out. Well, Kevin, Kevin, Kenneth Robinson did it. <laughs> we got him. And what you were what you were saying about do you do you know anything about the murder? I don't think you do. I, I don't okay. think that you do at all. Um, but like, so when it started, you were like, "Oh, it's already happened," and Anubis is the murderer. Mm -hmm. Is that, that something that we just learned from that first conversation? Janine just said, with sarcasm dripping through the Twitch chat. <laughs> Good hustle out there, Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Janine is like, she's our very stern sergeant. <laughs> Janine has absolutely no idea why we're still on the staff, because we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> we just go into her office and she shakes her head. <laughs> also, Abriel in the chat points something amazingly humiliating out, which is that this is a new high school. <laughs> I've played this game four times. <laughs> Half an hour to successfully solve the case. Kenneth Robinson did it. We're done. <laughs> Kenneth Robinson did it. Okay, right. You. <laughs> okay, right. Let's be a lady this time. Okay. Our dress does look a little like it's sort of been like the bottom of it's just been torn. Maybe we have torn it to like to like walk better. I don't know. No, I mean that was that was really in style in 2013. Was it also was it also like seven 
single pixel steps. <laughs> um, yes. So we got some badges. We've have we've only got two of them. The first one is play one game. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jack. And the other one is um find the wizard in the darkness. This was in a the dinner party mode that I played, uh, and 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 exactly the same thing happened. Um, so I have no idea why I unlocked that. Badges are things like close five cases, close fifty cases, <laughs> read all of Anubis's journal logs, identify a whole bunch of locations, have a long conversation with Jasper, get money, buy information. Alright, here we go. Here we go.